there's a schoolboy in a secondary school in England who's just been allowed to identify as a wolf. I saw that, yep. So I didn't read the detail of that story, but mm. I just kind of read it. It was in a paper somewhere, so yeah. I, I did read it. Yeah. So what does that mean? They're allowing him to come in and howl? or what? Tra- Trans species is being recognised now. Trans species. Is a trans species the same as a furry? Or is a furry something else? I've seen this thing, expression, a furry. Fur- different. I, I don't know why I'm expecting you to be an expert yeah. on perversions, but it's somehow it's just... So furries is a sexual kink. So you get dressed up as a big fluffy dog and, you know, you own a man. I'm worried that you know this. Well, you know, I've got, I've got to do research. <laughs> and, um, and, and a sexual kink. What's in that wardrobe? <laughs> um, trans species is you pretending you actually you know you, you feel you're the wolf you feel there's other people talking about it as well we've already had some woman who thinks she's pardon me uh transracial oh yes yeah. yes um there's a guy who took government to court i don't think was it this country or was it germany he took his he took his government to court because he was trans age he was technically 61 but he, but he had a really fit body and he wanted to identify as 32. Oh, I've heard about this. Yeah, yes, so, yeah. so the, the more we discuss poor mental health... Did you try to get his passport changed? Yeah, to choose yeah. It? Oh, I see, yeah. Okay. Um, the more we discuss poor mental health, the more we allow sick people to pretend... The more we allow sick people to live in unreality, the more of this will have. And it and it and it's a scale. So now mm. we've got trans species. Mm. The next one after this, all I can think of, is trans planet. You feel like you're an alien, and but <laughs> there, there isn't any stopping point to these broken people. Yeah. And we treat them as a joke, and, we, and I understand why. Some of it's funny, but when you look beneath that, it's a broken person who's in pain. Yeah. Yeah. Or they're just a pure narcissist having a laugh and a joke. Yeah. Um, but if they're in pain, I mean, some people who have got body dysmorphia, who were the original trans people, you know, they've got severe mental health issues. Yeah. But not the pervert who puts a dress on, red lipstick and call me Bevel. Yeah. He's, just, he's just a pervert wanting to masturbate somewhere. Yeah. But some of these people are really suffering. And you don't tell an anorexic, do you know what, Debbie? You really are fat. Yeah. You wouldn't say that to an anorexic because you no. know it's damaging more. If you meet someone who says, I'm Napoleon, you would never say, you're, not, you're Napoleon, start taking orders from him. But when it comes to this LGBT nonsense, we validate their unreality and, and it's damaging them. Yeah, but I'm just wondering now whether if somebody comes along and says, I'm Napoleon, people say, oh yes, you are. We've actually reached the stage in some places that if somebody in a public sector job came in and said, I'm Napoleon, you could imagine somebody saying, oh, oh, oh right, okay. I'll put you down down as I'm Napoleon. I'm sure that might happen. I just want to be there that day when two people think they're Napoleon. It could be a fight breaking out. I think there will be. Um, the, the the bit I was, that thing about the boy identifying as a wolf, which is obviously just absolute nonsense. How did that conversation happen at the school? How did how did it go from the point where... Parents would have come in and said... My oh, you child, think his parents brought oh, Absolutely. Oh, you, oh right. Okay. My child's a bit special. He thinks he's a wolf. <laughs> Um, he'd like this and that, 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 and they're going, well, we've got to be inclusive. Um, but there's nothing wrong in that just, child. Just for the viewers at home, Nick hasn't actually got any shoes on. He looks like he could have, you know when you see a werewolf coming back? <laughs> yes, <laughs> and they've ruined the shoes. The shoes have ripped off. Yeah. It's like, he may, he may, after this, go running out into the night. Yeah. We need to remember that children have imaginary play. Yeah. My granddaughter, when I play with her and see and stuff like that, sometimes she's a dinosaur. Yeah. And she wants to be a yeah. dinosaur. We yeah. don't go to school yeah. and say, right, school, yeah. you need to start calling her T-Rex. Yeah. And you know, you've know you got to pass her stuff now very close to her because she's only got a small T-Rex <laughs> arm. She can't lean forward. We'll do that. She's, she's, a, she's a dinosaur for a day. And that's, that's, a, that's exactly what happened with gender, isn't it? You know, boys, when they're young, will sometimes... There's pictures of my sons dressed in jewellery and things like that when they went around to the grandmothers you know messed around or whatever we didn't suddenly say oh he he, he's a girl she's a girl you know she's always wanted but you know it's a moment a transitory moment in their lives where they're choosing to do that or messing around the playing but it's almost like they they jump on it don't they it's like oh you're a wolf you wanted to be you you, so so you think the parents actually went in and said i would say parents i would absolutely say parents went in and did that 
I mean, it's bad enough that the parents go in. What's even worse is the fact that the school actually then even bothers to take it seriously. You would have to be a brave school not to. And don't forget, all these heads, many of these teachers believe in all this crap. You would, you'd have to be brave not to say, oh, okay, okay, we'll buy a leash for... I wonder if kids are actually learning anything at school these days. <sighs> I doubt it. Did you enjoy that video? I think you did. Come on now, hit that bell, subscribe, comment. Let's build this channel. I need more followers. I need more subscribers. Be part of the journey. See you soon.